As we unveil the final components, uh, health care and tax reform of our Better Way agenda, remember, <clears throat> at the end of the day, what we do is and always has to be about people. After all, we are the body that is closest to the people. We're the most accountable to them. We are their voice in government. And right now, there's a tangled web of complicated taxes, a one-size-fits-all approach to health care. And these are just two examples why Americans are frustrated and they feel like their voices are not being heard. Our agenda is full of real common sense reforms, solutions that are going to empower students, patients, and small business owners all across this country so that they will feel secure in their lives and in their futures. Because policies from taxes to health care should start with people speaking through their elected representatives not politically motivated bureaucrats in an agency. <clears throat> That's why I, too, am grateful for the leadership of Congressman John Radcliffe on, on this important issue. His legislation, the Separation of Powers Restoration Act, is such an important step in Congress taking back its authority to do the people's work. We hear a lot about the Chevron decision. Simply put, it has led to the steady growth in increased government overreach. Pre, uh, Representative Radcliffe's bill overturns that decision and it requires the courts to interpret laws instead of allowing unelected federal bureaucrats, in essence, to make the laws themselves. This is just uh, the first of many examples of how we're already acting on our ideas in, the, in the, the better way. Our better way agenda is really, it's about real solutions that put American people back in control of their government so that the promise of America is never broken.